So in this second example, we're looking at the same exam question again, but we're going to focus on part B with a mean of 51 and a standard deviation of 3.5, what proportion of the marks will be more than 48? So again, I've got my diagram and we're going to mark in the key parts again. Mean is 51. This time more than 48. Well, 48 is below 51, so let's say about there. Put my line in and more than, so this area here. I find a Z value for that. So how many standard deviations above or below the mean is it? The value is 48, the mean is 51, and the standard deviation is 3.5. So 48 minus 51 is minus 3. So uh, minus 3 divided by 3.5. So I get minus 0.8571. So I can't look up uh, that many decimal places, so we're going to round to 0.86. Um, it's a minus, and the tables don't have minus values. All I can do is look up the positive value and then I'll need to think about what that's actually showing me. So if I copy this diagram again, so I can't look up a negative value of 0 0.81, but I can look up a positive Z score of 0 0.8, sorry, 0 0.86, isn't it? If I look up 0 0.86 in the tables, then that will give me this area here. And because it's symmetrical, the positive 0 0.86 will be the same area as if I was looking up negative 0 0.86 and above. Can you see how those two reflected would be identical areas? So if I look up 0 0.86 in the tables, so 0 0.8 for the first decimal place, and across to 0 0.6, it's 0 0.8511. So in this one, there's no need to do one minus that area. It is the area I want. And if you go back to the original picture, you can see that the area is clearly more than a half. If I did one minus that, I'd get less than 0.5. So that would obviously be wrong. Um, the trick here is always working out whether you need to do minus, minusing it from one or not. And the pictures are really the best way of sorting that out. 